Now, I specifically want to talk about Kiati Mundi for a second. And I want to talk about the people that are trying to defend this. The cope that is actually going on right now is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Anything to try and highlight how good, quote unquote, this show is. It is an abomination of Star Wars. And they, every episode that comes out, we seem to just keep getting more destruction of law, canon, and continuity. So I've got to address a couple of things here. First of all, I put this tweet out there just stating that Kiati Mundi shouldn't even be alive during this period. He was born 93 BBY. If you don't know what BBY is, it's before the Battle of Yavin. And the time period of the Acolyte takes place 132 BBY. Now, the first thing that I want to address is the people that are saying, if you know this, you're in too deep. You know too much. Go out and touch grass, blah, 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 blah. It's not like that. I didn't know that Kiati Mundi was this old or this young and shouldn't even be alive during this period. But what happens when they put somebody like this in there? People go, oh, well, we're talking 100 years before Revenge of the Sith. Would he, be, would he have been alive then? And they go and check. They do their research and they check it out. And then they find that, no, he was born 93 BBY and he shouldn't even be alive. We're 40 years too soon in regards to seeing him, right? So I put this tweet out there, obviously, that, that Kiari, Mundi, Kiari Mundi was born 93 BBY and the events of the Acolyte take place uh, 132 BBY. So it's not a fact that we all know this stuff. It's a fact that we care enough to actually check to see whether or not it actually should be like this. And of course, we're talking about law and continuity here. No bigoted language, no hatred, even though I hate this because of what they're actually doing, which is legitimate. And it's an absolute abomination. This isn't Star Wars. It's so far removed from Star Wars that, again, they're changing the continuity and the law so much that it isn't Star Wars anymore. It's something completely different. But also, too, I, have, I put this out there as well because, of course, this was what was on the Wikipedia before the episode aired. 93 BBY was his birth year. And then they changed it to 132 BBY. But hang on a second. If we go back to this, the events of the Acolyte take place 132 BBY. So that means if he was born 132 BBY, he is zero years old. This is the year that he was born. Certainly wouldn't be a part of the Jedi Council. Certainly wouldn't be a Jedi Master. He's just being born. So this is the, this is the cope and this is the adjustments that they have to try and make to the canon and the lore and everything. And then, of course, there's people out there that say, Legends was never canon. Well, guess what, guys? Disney thought that Legends was canon because they decanonized it. I don't know how many times I have to say this. You can't decanonize something that was never canon. How do you? Explain to me how you decanonize something that was never canon. Explain that to me. But again, I find that really funny how they try and run damage control and they say that he was born 132 BBY when the events of the Acolyte take place 132 BBY. Hilarious. Hilarious that this is where we're at. But also too, Syrians. I think that's how you pronounce their species, right? This was something that Zach put in that thread and basically just shows how long they sort of live for. They're a veteran when they're 65 years plus. But that must mean too, that because he was born 132 BBY, he is 113 years old. 113 years old when he dies. And the funny thing is, is that he was killed. He didn't die of natural causes. So he had plenty of life still to live. And the people out there want to say that this was never canon. This isn't the canon. Where in the canon or where in these shows does it explicitly say his birth year? That's, they, these are the justifications that are now coming out. So if you guys want to use this as your reference now in regards to look, because there's been people out there that have said this. Look, it's 132 BBY is his birth year. Where in the show did it explicitly say? It must have said it in this episode of The Acolyte. It must have said that he was 132 BBY was his birth year. And you know the funny thing too is that I mentioned Plo Koon was in this episode as well, right? And I heard that Plo Koon was in this episode. You know why people aren't talking about that? 
because he lived to be 185 years old. Is that not canon? Because it doesn't explicitly say in one of the episodes, one of the movies, or one of the episodes of television? Is that no longer canon anymore? Is the, the how the species live and the, the terms of their life, their lifespan? These are all things that have been really well thought out by George, by the original creators of this stuff. And they, they've specifically given species certain uh, lifetimes, certain lifespans and things like that. But yet these people are in cope mode so damn bad to defend this absolute abomination, this garbage. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why are you defending this? If you were ever a real Star Wars fan, and that's what us geeks and nerds do. It's like I said at the beginning, the first thing, right? These people that are saying, if you know this much, oh, you're in too deep, go outside and touch grass, blah, 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 blah. No, I didn't know it. But you know what I did when I found out he was in it? I scratched my head and thought to myself, huh, would he be around at this time period? Would he be around in this era? And you go and have a look and no, he wasn't. But yet they'll change it, <laughs> wrongly change it too, by the way, to see where, just to run damage control, like I said. Now, I don't know any context of the episode. I'm glad I was able to stay away from that stuff, right? But we'll have to wait and see whether or not um, uh, Kiari Mundi's line about the Sith being extinct for a millennia has now been destroyed as well. We heard from Chris Gore throughout the week that there's going to be pronouns in this episode, Monday pronouns in this episode, which is garbage in itself. So my next question, though, in regards to all of this, is me talking about the lore and canon and continuity of these specific characters, these specific creatures, these specific species, bigoted language? Is it just hatred to hate? No, it's fucking not. Is the fact that I love this franchise, I love diving into the lore, I love the characters. Oh, but Kiari Mundi was a nothing character. Yeah, okay, he was a nothing character. Doesn't mean his species doesn't exist. And it doesn't mean that the lore and the canon wasn't fleshed out for these characters. So get off your goddamn high horse. Stop running damage control for Disney on such an abomination of Star Wars. And actually start seeing it for what it really is. I don't get it. I just don't get it. The funniest part of all of this is this bit. The damage control that they tried to run by changing his birth year. 132 BBY. And this takes place 132 BBY. So he's zero years old in this moment in time. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. Anyway, that's my rant over and done with. We probably won't talk about this particular topic at the end of the video. We've already gone through it because it, this all got spoiled for me. It was too hard to keep my eyes off it. Unbelievable.